Welcome back crypto nitro community today we are going to be diving down into what is known as many fact and I'm going to tell you guys right now that this project provides a massive amount of opportunity this is one you don't want to miss out on especially due to all of its benefits so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into it Alrighty, so Crypto Nitros, as stated, we are diving down into Medifact. And if you guys don't know anything about this project, you guys will actually see right here, it does state that Medifact is a decentralized blockchain platform improving patient care, healthcare security, data transparency, and interpretability across the industry. That right there is uh, very important. So we're talking about the data infrastructure for DeFi and Substract. So ladies and gentlemen, a lot of opportunity here. So if we take a look, you guys will see where it does state that basically Medifact, the overall services, there's three key stakeholders. So we have the patients, we have the providers, and we have the AI companies. The basis for Medifact is a network for remotely storing and sharing medical imaging data. Typically, medical images are stored by providers or third-party hosts, such as telemedicine companies, which is actually 100% true. So I like this. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what they have to offer. So obviously, we have a crypto token. We already know. I mean, this is going to serve as a payment escrow for medical imaging services and as a medical image storage protocol. Then we even have utility token, right, which is very important. They're technically using Ethereum blockchain. They make it easy for developers to build and distribute applications. This also makes it easy for consumers to use existing web and mobile Ethereum networks or wallets such as MetaMask. Then we even have a decentralized medical data storage so they are planning to build on top of the ipfs and lbp 2 p protocols given the use of medicine let's say for telemedicine and medical image storage around the world i mean this is good right so it's good that they're having a decentralized storage then we have ai algorithms so as ai becomes more integrated into the clinical workflow for medical imaging specialists they want to make it easy to include ai algorithms with their data storage right which is cool i like that and you guys will see right here we got integration of real world data right which is good so internet of medical things <laughs> or also known as iomt is a branch of iot in the medical industry through which Ladies and gentlemen, telediagnostics or remote diagnostic services are achievable. This is interesting. I like this. I like this a lot. I actually like that. Now I understand the name, Medifact. So you guys will see right here, we have asset layer. We got security layer. We have internet of medical devices. And then we have the cost. And then we have ML, AI, and deep learning. So base thing here is going to be probably about the cost. Not only that, but it's also an asset, right? But it does state that medical imaging is often cited as the fastest growing segment and cost of delivering healthcare. Healthcare overall as a discipline is reaching unsustainable levels of cost, which is very true. So it's good uh, that they're gonna be able to help with this. Not only that asset layer, right? Decentralization of diagnostic services. There is an opportunity and true need for a new kind of platform. One that focuses on trust, speed, and cost efficiencies. So I like that. So you guys will see right here, we have a little bit of information about, say, the token. So the token sale logistics. So the Medifact token creation process will be issued by Medifact LTD. I'm going to assume that's their company, which is based in Estonia and will be organized around smart contracts running on Ethereum. So we got human resources, 15%. Other uh, rays will be allocated and used to continue to grow organization with qualified experienced team members, which is good. Development, so 25% of the rays will be allocated and used for development of the team to further development, say, for the Medifact ecosystem. 
which is good. So that's going to help, you know, developing new products, features, API integrations, and continue to develop the blockchain application. And then we have artificial intelligence algorithms. So 22.5% of the raise will be allocated for development, curation, promotion, and implementation of AI algorithms across multiple applications on the platform. I like that. I like that a lot. So here's the utilization of the funds. Let's actually uh, kind of talk about this real quick. So platform, 25%. Partner, 10%. Marketing, sales, 10%. Operation, 7.5%. Infrastructure, setting at 5%. Artificial intelligence at 22.5%. Legal at 5%. And human resources is at 15%. So not bad at all. So service layer, consumer layer. We got electronic health records, which is very important, right? We got patient-centric cross-chain identity management. Then we even have supply chain management. So a lot of opportunity here, you guys, can be used for this overall uh, platform, right? Which is good. And you guys will even see we have clinical data management. We have medical chatbots. We even have healthcare insurance premium calculations. So all this is going to be provided for you, right? So these are definitely some more benefits whenever it comes to what they're uh, looking to achieve. Scroll down, it looks like they got some news. So I imagine we got a lot of uh, press release and stuff going on. So I imagine you're going to be able to dive down into those if you'd like to, right? Which is good. We even have a roadmap. So we have, uh, wow, this is going all the way back from 2020. Impressive. So we got like the project launch, right? We have the network launch. We have data integration, third party, D apps, and we have AL and we even have a uh, ML engine, which is good. So their team, let's talk about their team. So who we got here, we got the CEO. We have uh, CEO operations, uh, AKTH health and CEO, I guess I should say, or COO, excuse me. Then we have a uh, CEO once again, Japan and CFO. And we even have a chief data officer. We even have CTO, CSO. So it looks like we have a big team here with probably a lot of experienced people in this field, especially for healthcare. And we got the partners. So uh, a lot happening here, you guys, a lot happening. And if I'm correct, they do have some uh, big announcements. Okay, so if we actually go ahead and take a look, I want you guys to understand that uh, we got a place for a token. Right, you can see that at the very top and technically it's gonna take you back down to the middle section. So you have information there. And then you guys will even see right there, uh, we have uh, staking, right? So let's actually take a look at this real quick. So you guys did see the contract addresses at the very top. So uh, let's go ahead and actually translate this real quick if we can. So there we go. So we have the supply. So yeah, awesome, I like this. So you can, uh, English, Japanese, it looks like you can actually connect your wallet. The APY here is going to be, uh, APY is going to be 13.5%, which isn't bad. So actually, this is going to be a place where you go to buy the token. I just saw that. So they actually have two different places or two different chains, it looked like. So if we actually take a look here at the very top of the website, you guys will see we have ERC20. And then we even have Polygon Matic, right? So if we go back to the staking area, you guys will see that you can click right here where states buy on Uniswap. So uh, this is going to be uh, the place, right? So you guys will see it right there, okay? And I imagine you're going to be able to swap. Let's see if they have it on both. So yeah, I imagine you're going to be able to buy it on both uh, Polygon and Ethereum. You just need to make sure you guys uh, get this, uh, you know, going, whatever. So you have the contract address, has stated at the very top. You're going to be able to swap, just connect, connect your wallet. You guys already know how this works, right? Which is good. So uh, make sure you guys take a look at the white paper. There is a lot of uh, important details here. There's probably more details than what I'm providing you today in this entire video. So check this out, but look at this, big news, okay? So uh, it does say right here, an enterprise level decentralized healthcare ecosystem is coming to MXC, I like that. So vote with MX to share 20,000 USDT. Uh, they do have a massive airdrops, right? They got some massive airdrops happening and this is uh, actually happening, uh, it looks like today. So July 18th at uh, 10 UTC. So uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys are part of this and do not uh, miss out, right? So I'm going to actually comment on there and just say uh, pumped up, right? Pump up, right? That's what we're going to say. So anyways, make sure you guys uh, join. Let us know what you think. All the links are going to be down below. We'll see you in the next video and ciao.